Okay, guys. Uh, welcome to the Deal Tech Podcast for uh, Wednesday, April 11th, 2012. Uh, our guest tonight is Danny, and we're going to try to get some other people in here as well uh, if anybody else decides to join the call. Uh, we currently have zero viewers. Not a big deal, though. All right, so this will be uploaded to my YouTube uh, pretty much right after the podcast. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to dive straight into the new series. So we're going to be doing uh, the mod Thomcraft, and this should be pretty fun. Now, this is a seed that I found out. I don't think anybody's uh, found it out before. I know it. This I is know a, it. This is a natural seed, and uh, as you can see, it's pretty awesome. So we're going to be using this for uh, the Thomcraft mod. And um, I think it'll be a good series. I don't know how long the mod is, but uh, it should be a pretty good replacement to a Cooling Exchange and Jungle Survival overall. Hang on, guys. Got another person in uh, my Skype. TV slash deal gaming. All right. So we need to start off by doing the obligatory thing here and uh, just mining some trees. Uh, Danny, let me grab yeah. my uh, list of topics here real quick, and uh, we can get started. Alright, sorry about that guys, got my topics, and we should be good to go. Um, Danny, I'm going to list some topics here, and you can decide on which one we should start with. Alright. Uh, we have the Huawei Ascend D series, which is uh, a line of new phones from Huawei. Netflix versus TV. Uh, Modern Warfare 3. Call of Duty's eventual replacement. Uh, the new Intel processors, the Ivy Bridge series. Black Ops, uh, the Google Glasses. The Nokia 808 with its 41 megapixel camera. Uh, Apple stock, the new Carl Zeiss lens. The Kindle, uh, Android, Galaxy Note. Anything sound interesting? Um, that 41 megapixel camera, mm -hmm. is that like really 41 megapixels? It's a, it's a true 41 that's like, megapixel camera from uh, Nokia. With, that's, uh, that's insane. With their Carl Zeiss lens, and that is built into a phone. This isn't a camera, that's an yeah. a phone. That's, that is I, it like... I believe it runs Windows Phone, but it may run mm -hmm. some propri uh, proprietary Nokia thing, just because they want to close off that ecosystem. But that is it just like a normal-sized phone? It's not like Galaxy Note? It's a, a normal-sized, like, I think, like maybe 3.8-inch phone. I don't know what the actual specs on it are. So it's like the same thing as an iPhone? I, or iPhone, basically. Same size about. A little bit bigger, but yeah. Yeah. That's... So. Like, you have cameras that don't do that much. Well, my my good production quality camera is, uh, I believe, 14.2 megapixels. So that it doesn't stack up at all. It's yeah. just uncomparable with how far we've come. I know. So. It's amazing. That uh, is going to be a good phone. It, it actually may not be all that great. The camera is going to be good, but who knows about the phone itself. If it's running a Nokia proprietary thing, it may actually be pretty bad. So we'll have to wait and see on that one. Um, I remember my first phone back in like 2008 or something was by Nokia. Mm -hmm. It was like a flip phone, yeah. and it, it was just so I bad. Think we've ever, pretty much everybody has moved past the flip phone now, um, yeah. except for a few... Older people. Old people. Yeah. My, my mom is still on a horrible, like, bar phone. <laughs> it's it's absolutely terrible. And I think she's on track phone. She refuses to pay that much for a phone, but yeah, it's it's not that expensive now to get it. And, and at least a decent phone uh, with a good keyboard. Yeah. Typing and stuff. So, uh, what's your history with phones? Um... I started off with Cincinnati Bell, which is like the local provider. It's really bad. It's really slow and stuff. I said I started off with the Nokia thing, and then I got this new one. It's like a slide keyboard thing. You have, you have a Samsung, don't you? And uh, it's um, LG. All right. I think it's pretty it's, much... Um, it's like a generic design. Yeah. It's like... 
And then we switched to Verizon. Me and my dad switched, so I got a new phone that was basically the same thing as the second one from Verizon, though. You remember uh, just a couple years ago, the big thing at our school, it wasn't the iPhone, it wasn't any smartphones. It was, uh, I can't remember what it was even called. It was like the LG, um, the, the LG Rumor. That was it. And it had, oh, yeah. It was the one with the flip keyboard, and everybody thought that was the coolest thing ever because it had that big keyboard on it. Yeah. Now, because of those good touch screens, that is just so obsolete now. We've moved so far just since then. Uh, do you want to you wanna keep talking about phones? Sure. All right. Uh, let's see. Well, there's... Have you ever heard... You, I, I believe we talked about this last uh, last week, but have you ever heard of the Chinese company Huawei? No, I haven't. Well, they, they make low-end smartphones, or at least they did until now, because they are now going to beat out the Droid Razor for the world's thinnest smartphone at, like, 5.58 millimeters. Wow, that's... Which is pretty tiny. small. For comparison, uh, those of you watching, the iPhone is like 9.3, so that is literally razor thin. Unlike uh, the Razer. And the Razer Max is kind of cool because that's got that really long talk time, but also it doesn't have the processor that the new Ascend does. The Ascend, I, I believe it's called the P1S, uh, has. Uh, a dual core at 1.5 processor, that, so that's really good. I'm not sure about the screen. Probably just the standard 480 by 800 on that one. Not the best screen, but obviously the processing power. Uh, and I also have the Ascend D Quad, which is a quad core at 1.5, and that'll be... Quad! Quad! The fastest smartphone to date. And that's even going to probably beat out the Galaxy S3, because no specs of the S3 have been released yet. Uh... For all we know about the Galaxy S3, this is this is probably way off. I'm guessing it'll have that quad-core processor. But for all we know at this point, it could quad. have a hexa-core processor at maybe 1 GHC. And that would be un That's unexpected, or maybe 1.2. It's a possibility, knowing Samsung, they could have had something developed behind our backs. But I don't know. Uh, let's see. What else have we got on here? Uh, I ha I was thinking in social studies about the eventual removal of TV. What do you think about that? I think, like, eventually with all the instant things that you can do with, like, Netflix and Amazon Prime, stuff like that, eventually they're just going to keep adding TV shows and stuff to that because, like, the stuff they have on Netflix right now, I feel it's pretty limited. You can't watch a lot of the things they have available. Mm -hmm. um, but eventually they're going to add pretty much all of the things they have that you can get in the mail to instant, I feel, I, I think. think. It'll all go instant, and even within the next few years, I think everything will be instant, instantly available. Yeah. But I think you're also going to start having to pay for it and getting commercials like you do on TV. Because TV, that's just a stupid service, if you ask me. Half the time, or even most of the time, probably 90% of the time, you're just watching crap that nobody wants to watch. Yeah, and you're paying for that, and you only get a few good shows that you actually want. So I, I have to think that eventually Netflix will run its own ads, and you'll still have to pay for the service, which uh, is kind of a bummer. But I think that's the way it's going to need to go if they want to, if that business wants to stay afloat. Now, in the next few years, one of the larger companies, uh, bigger than Netflix, may take over the streaming business. I don't know who that would be, but other companies like Amazon offering their own services tells me that. Netflix won't sit on top for very much longer. What do you think? Do you think it'll become monetized more than it is already? Um, yeah, sort of. It all depends on, like, how they do as a business, and if they keep, like, gaining people, and not many people have, like, Kindle Fires, they're not that much of a well-known device. And that's really their main thing for streaming well, I, stuff. I've got to contradict you there because the Kindle Fire is the most or is the best selling thing on Amazon right now, and I just found a ton of crap in this chest. It's the on Amazon, yeah. But like on the whole Wait, what is that crap in the chest? What is all that? Uh I is that like it's uh is that bomb craft items. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it was like in the game. Nope. I didn't know that there were random chests like that in Thomcraft. Is that uh, in your seed that I gave you? Like, did you see I that? I don't know. 
All right. I quit it. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Get another topic here. The Google Glasses. I know Nate has heard of these. I don't know if you have. Um, Nate, if you're in the stream right now, um, then you can contact me, read deal on Skype. But uh, the Google Glasses are Google Glasses. I, I, I have a problem saying that. But they're going to be these glasses, which are sort of like a heads-up display, and uh, just show you icons. And they basically help you, they're a phone, but they also help you see the world around you differently, uh, taking pictures and stuff like that. Oh, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I can't so is it like, is it kind of like the movie glasses in that form? Or yeah, like, sort of, only know. they're see-through. They're, they're more like actual glasses that you can see through. Oh, okay. I'm guessing eventually they're going to be prescription, so you can, like, uh, people with glasses could actually use them. And that could be kind of interesting. Or even more awesome, they could put them in contacts. Mm -hmm. More awesome, they could put them in contacts. Oops, that's sorry even about that. possible. I just got some playback through the stream. Trying to load up the chat, but I can't get it to work. You have two people watching, and one of them's me. <laughs> I think the other one is this. Alright, there we go. Okay. Chris, type in the chat if it's you. I sent him to the stream, so it's probably him. But uh, this will get more views when I send it to my channel. Or when it gets sent to my channel. Yeah. Why is there light down there? Oh, I guess the, the crystals from the Thomcraft mod give off light, which is kind of cool. So the, uh, the mountains are illuminated around me. But it's about to be very dark. Very dark. Indeed. I'm gonna build my house up on this hill. Is your brightness all the way up? Yep. Why can you not see? No, I'm just wondering. Okay. Um, let's see. We need another topic. Oh well, we were on the Google Glasses. I guess we didn't really cover that very well. But it's it's Retina navigation. So the way it's gonna work is you're gonna look at whatever you want to activate, and that app will open. So it'll be uh, kind of a weird experience for people who haven't done that kind of thing to learn how to use, and I'm guessing if you're older and you've been using a smartphone or a, even a, a, an older phone for a while now, you won't be able to do that. It'll just hurt your eyes, it'll give you headaches. And I'm guessing a lot of people even who don't have a history of using older older phones, sorry, I can't speak today, older phones are still going to have problems uh, working with this new device. I have a feeling that'll take like a pretty long time in development. Like, fixing all the bugs with, like, the eye tracking or whatever it is. I think they're they're essentially ready. They're just doing that bug bug testing now, if I'm yeah. correct. I'm not sure about that, but I think they're very close to ready. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Now, do you want to stay on that Google Glasses topic? Mm, sure. I also don't know what operating system they're going to be running. Um, sorry, I'm counting blocks here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because if they run Android, it's going to be really weird to uh, try to get used to that for a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, using like a touch device, I'm guessing it'll be more like a heads-up display in that it's not really app tiles uh, so much as it is uh, like icons like you would see on a lot of modern cars, or a very expensive cars, have heads-up displays built into oh, yeah. shields, and I'm guessing it'll be more like that, where the icons are see-through. And they also need to worry about the issue of privacy, like how do I prevent people from looking through from, like, seeing and seeing what yeah. I'm doing. Yeah, that's also a big issue. If if Apple is intending to make the uh, iPhone 5 a glass display, how are they going to prevent people from looking through? That just seems like a a horrible way to violate people's privacy, if you ask me. Also, that seems like it would break really easily if you dropped it. The back yeah. would just shatter. Well, if uh, yeah, if, if you had the iPhone like that, I think the glasses would be pretty safe because uh, if you've handled glasses before, you usually don't drop yeah. them too much. So, I think that would be okay. Like people drop their phones though all the time, and usually they're all right. Yeah. Yeah, but if it's like all glass, then yeah, that could be. A big yeah. issue, too. Um, I think another thing would be if it's Gorilla Glass, 
you have to worry about how it's going to work uh, with people's prescriptions, um, how it's going to bend the light. It, it could cause blindness even if that sheet of Gorilla Glass bends the light in some weird way. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Gorilla Glass is strong, but it's not that strong. So people might think that their glasses are, their very expensive glasses, I might add, are <laughs> indestructible. And uh, then just be kind of careless with them like they are when they hear the iPhone is uh, Gorilla Glass on the back. People think that means, uh, like Gorilla Tape, it's essentially indestructible. That's not how it works at all. Is Gorilla Glass what they use on the screens, too? Uh, the glass itself is Gorilla Glass. The screen is actually just a little panel that rests inside. Oh. Uh, I can show you, a, uh, well, I can't really show the stream now. I don't have a webcam set up. I'm going to order one off of Amazon so I can get my face in the corner next time. But, uh... Uh, I can show you on my iPod Touch, on my old one, uh, what the screen is. It's just basically a tiny, maybe two millimeter thick uh, panel. And that just streams data from the little ribbon cable. Did you, like, split it open or something? Yeah, I had to split it open to change the glass out on it. That'd be oh. good. All right. Uh, let's see. Moving on from those glasses. Uh, let's see. Sorry, guys, I'm just looking at my note card here. Modern Warfare 3, uh, you've played it, right? Yeah, a couple of times. I think it's a boring game. I don't know what it is, but I just think it's it's really boring compared to Black Ops. What do you think? Better well, um, I don't know. I haven't really had that much really good experience in it, but um, I can't really judge it. Cause... I'm going to give my judging here, and... Um, I think it's a lot worse than Black Ops. People are begging on me because I like to play Black Ops more than I do Modern Warfare 3. And I think that's because Black Ops, it just, it seems to work more for me. Modern Warfare 3, I have a lot more deaths where I think it isn't my fault. Uh, just stupid stuff that happens with the ni knifing being, uh, supposedly fixed. A couple other things like that, I just have issues. Um, in Black Ops, I also feel like the guns just react a lot more. Uh, than they do in Modern Warfare 3. I have a better time using the guns. I think that, like, some people, they like they like a Call of Duty game more once ma the majority of people have, like, moved on to the next game. Because I remember last year you were saying you hate Black Ops and it's really bad, but now you like it. I think that's that's partially true. But I feel like it was I was playing almost the same then as I was now. Like I think a lot of the good people who still like Black Ops stayed there, so it's about the same ratio of good people as it was before. So I feel like I'm getting the same KD uh, as I was before, maybe a little bit better. But I after seeing how bad Modern Warfare 3 is, and how poorly Activision seems, or not Activision, Infinity Ward seems to... Uh, patch their games, like the FMG9s and the uh, Type 95, how bad all that stuff was. I just realized how much better Black Ops was, so I went back to it, and I actually enjoy playing that game now. I used to make fun of it because it was so terrible, but now I realize it's actually much better than uh, Modern Warfare 3, so. Alright, I gotta be, I'm gonna be right back. I have to feed the dogs. Alright. So guys, we're doing well uh, on our first night. We should probably try to kill some Sheps tomorrow, if we can find any. And then, uh, I gotta start mining some crystal, or whatever it is I have to do. I don't know, but right now I want to do some more mining. And that's going to be kind of hard, because we're starting out on this mountain. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make an iron pick. Oh, go ahead and do that. And that should be good for a while of mining. Okay, now I'm also going to make a chest, or a couple chests, one, two, three, one, two, three, okay, darn it, one short, uh, boom, alright, and once Danny gets back, well, we'll start another topic, I'm thinking, I don't know what topic we're going to go with, um, Alright, I'm back. Alright. Uh, 
I wanted to talk more about the Kindle Fire. We touched on that last week, um, but I want like a more in-depth review from you after having one for a while. Uh, how All long right. have you had it now? It's been about two weeks, I think. Okay. Um, about two weeks. What do you think of the overall design and the user interface? I think that the user interface is pretty good. You can like, there's a favorites bar down at the bottom of the screen. You can put the apps that you use the most in it. And compared to like the iOS devices, it's not just four. You can have like 12 or something because there's like multiple rows. Yeah, that's how it usually is on uh, the new Android devices. Yeah. Um, so what else about user interface? Like, what uh, what apps do you have available in Amazon's closed ecosystem? Um, there's like a lot of the good games that you usually play, like Angry Birds and Cut the Rope and stuff like that. But like a lot of it, like um, some of the games that you can get on iOS and Android aren't there. Uh, what about the productivity apps and the the learning apps that you see a lot in iOS? In iOS or in the Kindle? In iOS, like are are any are is any of that stuff there? Oh, do you mean like stuff that you can use for school and stuff mm -hmm. or school and business I, applications? Yeah, I have um like a flashcard app that I use for Latin vocab stuff. That's pretty standard. And, like on on yeah. iOS because of uh, the the way that the developers work on it, I guess there seems to be a lot more stuff available for uh, businesses. Do you see any of that kind of stuff on the fire? Um, I haven't really been like looking for any of it, but like I'm sure you can find some of it, but not as much as you could on other devices, no, probably. I've also noticed uh, the iPad is a content consumption device, meaning you usually don't create things on it. You don't create videos. You don't usually create your own photos or do any editing work on that? Uh, is that would you consider the Fire a consumption device or a content creation device? Well, there's no like camera or anything like that. You can't like make videos or do pictures that well. So I think it's more of a consumption device. Amazon like made it so people would buy Amazon Prime and buy their apps and books and stuff. Yeah, and I think I've I've told you this before, but it actually cost them two hundred ten dollars to make a Kindle Fire, and they sell it for. Uh, two hundred. Well, so, they're it's actually one ninety nine. They're losing money on each one, and that's because they want you to upgrade to Prime and they want you to subscribe to their instant video service, and all that kind of stuff. So it's, I'd say it's more leaning towards content consumption as well because, like Danny said, no camera. Does it have a microphone? I don't think it does actually. I was kind of surprised by that because like. My old Kindle, I had the Kindle keyboard. It actually did have a microphone. Yeah. And the Kindle Fire doesn't. That's kind of strange, because a lot of people like to take voice notes with their iPads and stuff like that, so I don't know why they didn't put that in there. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What else do I want to know? As far as uh, how Android works on that, does it seem at all like Android? Not a lot. Um... I haven't done much with Android. My dad has a phone, Android, but other than that, not really much. But I don't feel it uses... It's, like, really, really heavily modified Android. Does it, does it seem closed off, like iOS? Like, can I, can I do more with it than I could the iPad? I don't think so, but the iPad... If, you, if you're looking for something that's, like cheap, but it's still, like, a good tablet that you can do games and read books and stuff, then I think the Kindle Fire is pretty good. But if you want, like, all the functionality of an iPad with, like, iMovie and stuff like that, then, yeah, you should get an iPad. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else do I want to know about it? Alright, my dad just brought me some dinner. Okay, so, uh, let's see. What else about the fire? Um, if I rooted the fire and uh, made it run pure Android, would you still consider it more closed off than the iPad because of uh, its like physical limitations? No camera, no microphone, nothing like that? Yeah, like stuff, you can't take like photos or do video. Like, 
the iPad, or at least what I saw of like the commercials and stuff, it they it looked like it was really good for iMovie. And like they, stuff you recorded from it and what they've tried to do with that, I think the the iPad three or the new iPad as they call it, is sort of like a a clashing between consumption and creation. It's not meant for one thing, which I think it should yeah, it's be like something like that. Where they've had it, it it's been a content consumption device for so long. And then they just try to change it with that camera and iMovie and all that stuff. And to be honest, the features of those programs are just bad compared to a video editor you could find on just a simple Windows uh, tablet PC or something like that. I can, yeah, I don't... from my supplier in China, I could order a $70 Windows tablet and get the full um, Vegas or Photoshop experience for uh, about for a lot less than the price of the iPad. Yeah. Right. Got to make a furnace. Okay. You don't have enough. I only have. Well, I'm about to make my first one. All right. I'm looking at new topics. Um. Let's see. I I was thinking also in social studies about what a retina display is. Like, what does that mean to you when you hear retina? I think retina. It's like something you can't really tell the difference of the pixels or something like that. I don't know what it is. It's like, in my mind, I feel it's like like a really clear display that has like really sharp images and stuff I like think, that. Um, I'm pretty sure what a retina display is actually supposed to be is a display where you can't make out the, pic uh, the pixels at normal viewing distances. So for the iPad, that would be about a foot where you shouldn't be able to see... Uh, any of the pixels. Yeah. Need to spread, but for something I'm sitting about two feet back from uh, my 17-inch monitors, and I'm pretty sure they have a pixel density of uh, roughly 96 pixels per inch, which isn't that great t for uh, today's standards. Like the Galaxy Note has a very high pixel density at about 280 ppi, but at two feet, uh, 96 ppi looks just fine to me. Uh, I can't tell the difference between the pixels. It all meshes very well. I just looked it up on Wikipedia. It mm -hmm. says, the user sees what appears to be a conventional display floating in space in front of them. However, the portion of the visual area where imagery appears must still intersect elements of the display system. It is not possible to display an image over a solid angle from a point source unless the projection system can bypass the lens with the eye. Clarification needed. I'll click that. Oh, God, voice crack. I have no idea what that means. Neither do I. Um, let's see. I'm guessing that has something to do with monitors and displays, uh, but I'm not quite sure. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'd, here, let me see something. How would you even measure something like that? Like, how do you measure if it's retina? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, like, if it's a certain pixel density per square inch or whatever it is, then it's retina? I don't know. I, I also think the the Mac fanboys, or fangirls, uh, whoever they are... Um, Dixie Spencer Lixby. Dixie Spencer Lixby, yeah. But I think you hear the word retina, and it gets you all excited. Why? You don't even know what that means. I don't know what that means. Yeah, I don't know what it means. <laughs> but it's a retina like, display. That makes it so much better, right? I have no idea what that is, but I'm sure it's good. I'm going to buy the iPad for $600 more. <laughs> so I have an iPad, too. It's the retina display. And the new camera. Don't forget about the camera. Most important thing. Taking pictures with an iPad. Yeah, that's a, that's a thing that normal people do, right? It's like carrying around your laptop and using the webcam to record stuff. Oops, I need to open up. Alright, we still got two viewers. <laughs> one of them is Chris and one of them is you. Oh, we've got three now. Is that the- is- viewers like the- the red people with the thing? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, we have three now. My- my stream is- or my- my streaming window is still something just to- oh well. Read. Oh well. Oh, hey Davis. Hey, Reed. How's it going, Danny? It's going well. Good. 
It's going right. well. Davis, you interrupted us in the middle of the podcast. Uh, I was invited to this podcast, right. and I just joined the call. And you know what? I was lucky that I even got here in time. <laughs> Alright, guys. Well, we have another person in the podcast. This is Davis. You know, he's a friend of mine. He goes to my school, and he's pretty good with technology. I am, I am amazing with technology. Right. I'm much better than Reed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Davis, we were just talking about retina displays. What does retina mean to you? Retina. Well, it's like iPhone, you know, and that's just like HD somewhat. Okay. <laughs> you, have an, you have an even less vague idea of it than we do. <laughs> yeah. I just searched it on Wikipedia and read a bunch of random words that meant absolutely nothing to me. I'm All right, lagging I'll like crazy right now, and I don't know why. We should close out of this stream window. Stream window? Yeah, I'm watching myself play. Are you guys have the server up? No. No. What? I, I'm playing single player. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna watch ourselves play. All right. All right. Wait. Hold on. There was something that I was about to do, and I can't remember what oh, it was. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go cut down some more wood. Or no, no, I needed to mine more stuff. Chopping wood. <laughs> All right, Chris. How do, I, how do I get to the? How do I get to the? Post? Uh, Chris. Uh, we've got three people in here now, and uh, we've only got one more slot, I think. Now we've eight. got two. What? It's down to two. Oh, did Davis leave again? No. I don't know. I'm here. Uh, I was. Uh, Chris. Uh, Chris just called me. Oh. Chris, you can continue watching, or I can try to get you in next week if you want to be in it next week. Am I not being able to talk? Is my mic working now? No, it's working. No, it's working. It was working. Okay. Davis, you're uh. stupid. No one likes you. <laughs> Go kill yourself. <laughs> no. I, I recommend using pills. Alright. Uh, I need to mine some more stone, and I also need to kill some sheep, and I can't find any stupid Shep. Shepherd's pie! I don't even know what that is. It's, uh, like, beans and peas and carrots and stuff put into a delicious medley. Mm. I see your Deal Tech podcast tonight, and that is it. Uh, no? Yeah. And I, I got it connected to my YouTube account now, so it should automatically upload after the podcast is finished, which is cool. Oh, so it, it's not, like, a stream? I thought it was, like, streaming. It, it is a stream. It, it's and where do I get to this? Twitch.tv slash Deal Gaming. There's a link in the, I um... In the video. In all right. God dang it! I need to get back to my house. I'm just like hopping up this hill in a really stupid fashion. All right. What's the next topic? Let's see. Thanks for getting us back on track, Danny. Um, Ask Davis what he wants to talk about. Davis, what do you want to talk about in technology? Um. I personally enjoy Dr Pepper, and I would like to discuss the 23 flavors of it. What are they? On Wikipedia, it. <laughs> oh God. Um, I wanted to talk about Samsung's flexible panels. Nope. Go ahead. Go ahead with that. Uh, nope. Nope. We're searching I... Dr Pepper 23 flavors. Screw Dr Pepper. Um, no. Uh, no. But. Whoa. 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 Okay. So, flexible panels were unveiled at I believe it was CES a few years ago, and they're paper thin flexible displays which use a ribbon cable like a, a traditional phone display. So once these things are actually implemented uh, and to a point where they actually work um, in a phone, then phones will become much, much, much thinner. Uh, like two millimeters thinner from where they already are now, which is ridiculous. Why do they need thinner phones? Like, I don't I don't feel the need. I like, I like a thick phone. You know, you can like hold on to it. It's yeah, I think, I think they're going to have them be pr uh, probably around five millimeters. Dr. Pepper was made in 1889. That's fantastic. And in, in Texas, it was in Tejas that it was invented. Tejas. Tejas, Dallas, Fort Worth. Tejas. My pinky. I can't is find what the. I can't find I, what the 23 flavors are. <laughs> no. Danny, I think it's actually it. what the 23 chemicals are. <laughs> <laughs> There's chlorine. <laughs> chlorine. And. And oh, phosphorus. All right, all right. I'm going. I'm going to uh, ask.com. Oh, uh, ask there is our amaretto, almond, blackberry, 
black licorice, carrot, clove, cherry, carrot. caramel, cola, ginger, juniper, lemon, molasses, nutmeg, orange, prune, plum, pepper, root beer, rum, raspberry, tomato, and vanilla. These are 23 ingredients in Dr. Pepper. When you say that all together, it sounds like crap if you, like, mixed it together. Yeah, it just sounds horrible, especially pepper. Like, nutmeg and pepper and carrot. I didn't know they actually put pepper in Dr. Pepper. <laughs> um, we should probably get back to a technology topic now. I'm sorry. I just, I was drinking one Davis, in my you mind. Davis, you one of my just... and you just ruined it. You, ru <laughs> you ruined it. <laughs> you ruined it! Um, let's see. I'm looking through my note card here. Um, 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 we talked about the Asus Nexus tablet last week. What is that? I don't know. Let's, let's <laughs> go with, I, I was thinking about this, the best manufacturer of technology. Lexar, because of my flash drive, and it's awesome. Linux. <laughs> Linux is the <laughs> manufacturer. That's an operating system. It has the best operating system. That, but that's not a manufacturer. I mean, like, Dell, HP, Asus. Oh, I have, I have oh, a Dell. I would have to say Alienware. Alienware. That's Dell. Whatever. Same thing. And Alienwares are terrible. They're expensive, Why? and they sound like jet engines for no reason. <laughs> yeah, you got it right. Yeah. I, 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 prefer, the, I prefer the term wind. <laughs> Alright, that's good. <laughs> Alright, um, uh, yeah, uh, Danny, what, what do you think? What like, do you think is... What are your guys' experience with reliability from your computers? Um, uh, I have to say my, uh, the my software, Dell. The software that they give you that comes pre-installed. I like my Dell. It's pretty, it's pretty good. Oh god, there's this little orange slime attacking me. Oh god. Uh, oh, I'll, I'll turn on, I'll play the podcast, but, uh, I, I enjoy my Dell also, like, you know. It's... Yeah. Yeah, Dell. Alright, I, I, I don't like Dell, Dell because I think they're kind of overpriced. They're good, like, they, and they also have excellent if you get customer the right, service. If you get the right stuff, it's it's actually really good. They're, they're good, but they, and they have excellent Wait. customer service, but they are overpriced. Davis, I thought you had an HP. I do. I have a laptop that's HP. Yeah. Oh, you have a... Okay. I have also so that's desktop. that's in uh, the computer market. What about the phone market? iPhone. Wrong. <laughs> Dirty hey. Mac. Everybody has opinions, and they're all shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially yours. Hey. Hey. It's true. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't, think Apple's, I don't think Apple is a good manufacturer. They have horrible customer service. I think people no, they say, don't. Yeah, they do. They they have the best customer Amazing service of all. Time. They have, like, the, they have I love the, the, Apple I love the Geek Squad. If you get Apple or whatever Care, they're called. the get, geniuses. I love the geniuses. If you get Apple Care, then it's it's pretty good. But I'm not sure how much that is. I usually don't. I don't buy Apple things, so I wouldn't know. Where where is the Android store? Where is Apple the Apple Care is free basically. Uh, there are a bunch of Android manufacturers, know. so that's based on. Samsung no, has probably stores. You can't go to the mall and find an Android store. So? So you can find an Apple store. They have much better customer service. No, they don't. If Geniuses. when you when you crack an I'll iPhone if you crack your iPhone display, they charge you two hundred dollars and that's the cost of a new iPhone and they just give you a new one. Alright, what does Android do? No, it does if, not cost two hundred dollars. If you have a problem with, say, maybe you have an HTC phone, you take it back to the store where you bought it, they ship it to HTC, and they fix it, free of charge, you don't even have to have a service plan. So you can throw you it on the ground, crack it, it the and then... Say it broke. Yeah, you, all you, you, could, have to. you could essentially do that if you wanted to, I don't know why you would, but... Because then you get a completely new, free, better phone. Yeah. Instead of just getting the same exact phone. Well, no, you, say, you, you do get the same phone. phone. They send the, the one that you... Whichever one you send back to them, they fix it and refurbish it, and then they send it back to you. So it's not like you're getting a new phone. You know what, Reed? It's refurbished. Yeah, and that's basically new. So, hold my dick. <laughs> no, not again. <laughs> <laughs> not after last time. Alright. I think it would have, for me, as far as tablets go, um, 
Definitely Asus. iPad. Then for iPad. for computers, I think it's HP. Because they have excellent HP. customer service, their prices are good, and they make really good machines. Um, I, I agree with my laptop, except my graphics card blows. And I don't know if it's just I have the wrong uh, update for my graphics card, or I don't know what it is, but I run Minecraft 20 FPS with 8 gigabytes of RAM. And uh, Yeah, I'm guessing that's, that's probably not the graphics card, because right now, while streaming, I'm pulling 36 FPS. I use a, a 6, 7, or... I got a 6770M graphics card yeah, that's by... A, that's a much better graphics card than mine, so I don't know why you're having problems. I have a 5450. I know. really don't understand oh, yeah, did, what... Did you... Oh, you probably didn't disable your other uh, integrated graphics. I... I, did, I didn't even get a I, graphics card, and I still run Minecraft at like 35 FPS. I used the one that it came with. Danny, like, Danny, I didn't I update really, any... No, no. Danny, you can't. I'm gonna get my laptop. Think it... Read. You're gonna walk me through this once again because this thing came pre-installed. Okay, guys, we're about to troubleshoot Davis. Let's have some, some Davis. I'm gonna get my laptop time. and I'll be right back. He's okay. got he's got many problems. Okay, we well, do Danny, so I think you your uh, laptop may have already had a graphics card built in, or you're just using integrated graphics, which are the yeah, graphics probably. that are built into your CPU. I have a discrete graphics card, which means that it's separate from the CPU, and I think Davis has Is a that discrete better? card as well. Is that better or worse? Usually discrete is better. Because uh, <laughs> Intel's, Intel's um, built-in graphics are usually really bad. Well, I can run Minecraft at almost 40 FPS, like, on far. Then you probably have either really good integrated graphics or a low-end discrete graphics card. The best place to buy items, like, electronically, is the Internet or Micro Center. Does anybody disagree? Uh, Where else did you get them? <laughs> Best Buy? Yes. Best Buy is horrible. The people that they don't are know so what they're stupid. talking about. They just, w they just want to get good commission. Same with the Apple people. Except I buy my iPhones from Verizon. <laughs> and they're just nice. We bought, our, <laughs> we bought our TV from Best Buy, and the guy there was so stupid. He was like some redneck. <laughs> Not even kidding. Really? Did you know more about TVs than he did? Yes. That's, so why'd you need him? That's actually hilarious, because I laughed. But we had um, this TV picked out, and we were ready to go, and I knew that it would work with our setup. And then, um, like, I asked Sam... Where Or no, he, he asked us if we wanted to pick a different one, because at the time, we didn't have a Blu-ray player, just a DVD player. Blu-ray uh, blows. It only Oops. had a uh, component port, which you can use for regular uh, red, yellow, and... Um, white connections, but he didn't know that, so he asked me if we wanted to pick out a different one that we could use with our DVD player. <laughs> wow, he is actually stupid. I know. That's horrible. At a Best Buy, that's, that's like, really bad. Oh, oh, also, where you can find Microsoft Office really cheap, colleges. Yeah, you just go to a campus sale. You just go to a campus. They sell it for, like, $20 for, like, the best, like, professional. They sell it for, like, $20. I got mine there. It's actually awesome. My dad can get it, like, for free through his work. Danny. Yeah? We're talking about best places to buy it, not from your dad. <laughs> right? Well, you can yeah, buy it from up. your dad. Shut up. you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right, sorry! Okay. Alright, Reed, help me through this. Alright, so I have Catalyst. I, I still have the Catalyst Control Center. Alright, well, did you go into your device manager? Yep. No. Okay. I'm going into that right now. Device the manager. Then go to your display adapters section. I remember this. Ouch! God, I fell. Crap. And then do I just disable? No, no. Make sure read off to me which one you're on currently. Uh, I think they're both on. <laughs> okay, which which one? Read them both off to me. What what two do you have? Mobile Intel. Parentheses R. Yeah, d disable that. Disable that. All right. And then that may crash your computer. Uh, so get ready to restart. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, it just made it really awful graphics. What do you mean? Like, just terrible resolution. <laughs> then go to <laughs> right-click on your desktop and change your resolution. <laughs> you probably okay. broke your computer. Uh, I did not. It, it only goes up... Okay. It made it 800 by 600. 
Yeah, you probably don't want that. <laughs> nope. Uh, I, I still can't do anything because if I go to like one thousand or uh, one ten twenty four by seven sixty eight, it just makes it like really awful again. <laughs> um. Then restart your do PC and make sure everything is set up in Catalyst properly. Do do one by right. one resolution. No, you can't like Dang, do a custom impossible. resolution. <laughs> and then he couldn't click anything. That would be terrible. <laughs> It'd it? just be like this small pixel of a screen. Be, it would just be one white pixel. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Alright. Okay. Um, I broke my pickaxe. No. Oh no! Not your pickaxe. Alright, now it's taking a really long time. Call Priceline Negotiator. What? He'll get you a new pickaxe. What does that mean? Priceline negotiator. After, oh. we, after we fix uh, Davis's problems, we should probably go back to talking about tech. This Mark is tech. Miller is online. Huh? Mark Miller is online. You're friends with Mr. Miller? No. no. Is his first name Mark? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh Mr. Weird. Miller? Oh, I don't know. Is it Mark Davis? Yeah, it's Mark. <laughs> Mark Miller. Mark Miller! Don't Why is my me? internet on my laptop actually just awful? awful? What? I got a Skype request, and then here we go. Now everything's back. Except my screen is still just utter, just utter awfulness right now. I'm Change your resolution again. I can't. You can't do anything. <laughs> just, no AMD graphics driver is installed, or the AMD driver is not functioning properly. Well, that's great. Do you have the uh, right version of Catalyst? It, it updated through Windows and stuff. But uh, I'm going to look at the Catalyst Control Center. And then um, I'm going to go maybe send me the link to this thing. And All right, I've got a pretty good house set up for uh, the next episode of Thomcraft. Alright. Um, hmm. Reed, can you post a link to the website where I would get the most updated version of AMD graphics? I'm guessing that would be amd.com. Here, I'll show you. I'm I'll too lazy to, to do it, and you're by far the best link finder for me. Oh, I'll give it to you. Here Danny. you go. Hold on. Yeah? Okay, there we go. I do. There's a link in the YouTube description. Okay. Oh my... Oh, Rick rolls. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> really, Danny? <laughs> you Rick rolled me. <laughs> that is. That is. I had to. Such. That was pretty such, good, Danny. <laughs> I cannot. I cannot believe it. All right. <laughs> Reed, do, do you have? Do you, I am um, actually playing Minecraft right now, so you can. Uh, you can leave me alone. All right, here I'll give you the link. I'm busy playing Thomcraft. Oh, you too close to what? That's the same thing, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll find it for you. What is it? AWS. What is AMD it? It's AMD.com. AMD.com is what I have to go to. Yeah, Davis, it's really here, not wait, that hard. Wait, no, no, I don't have to go. I'm just, I'm just mentally challenged at this. Don't, I must get, say. don't get Danny to do your bidding. I don't trust Danny anymore. He's just gonna rick me. <laughs> I'm spamming the chat with Rick Rolls. Danny, stop it. Hold on. Hold on. Support and drivers? Do I go to that? Yes. No. No. Alright. So no. Do you guys want to get oh. another topic while Davis tries to solve himself? Yeah, here Davis, here's a link to where you can solve yourself. Okay, let's see. <laughs> let's see. Oh, oh. Do you want to not send me those links anymore? Because I, I hear that beeping, like, constantly. <laughs> Same. Okay. It, it's quite annoying, Danny. Okay, um, what do you guys not think about modern gaming laptops and uh, Ultrabooks? Oh, oh, uh, I saw this one custom PC. I was really bored. Like last night, and 
I got the price up to ten thousand dollars, and I felt it accomplished. What cyber power PC? No, it was like Northwestern or something. Oh, but uh, yeah, I, that, that wasn't the question at all. Sorry, <laughs> I you said custom or something around that. And no, then I that, said ultra. What do you guys think about gaming laptops and ultra books? And that custom one that I was thinking of had that. It had what? Ultra books. It had uh, no, it was. It, I don't even know. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Screw me up. Davis, you should just shut up before you hurt somebody. <laughs> Probably. I agree. Yeah, that huh? would be best. Okay. Danny, what do you know about Ultrabooks? I don't know anything. I, I they're, actually they're the, never heard of an Ultrabook. They're Ultra Intel's thing. custom laptops. Well, they're marketed by Intel under the name Ultrabook, and they have to be under a certain thickness, and they have to boot in a certain amount of time. They have to be built to... You mean like... A, you mean like a Chromebook? No, not at all. Are they like that's really the, thin? That is the opposite like... of an Ultrabook. But they have to have i3, i5, i7 processors. They have to boot in a certain time and they have to be Like very a Chromebook? Fast. No, not like a Chromebook. The opposite of a Chromebook. So, uh, they need to be really powerful. They can run a lot of modern games. Like a good Ultrabook uh, will actually run like Battlefield 3 or Skyrim or something like that pretty well. Like, this isn't something really cheap, but I think they're, they're like, $900 for some of the cheapest ones, and they get up there in price, like, 1300 for the good ones. And, uh, basically, with the new Ivy Bridge architecture, with the new integrated graphics coming, it'll actually become a viable option. Like, for $700, you can get a, a portable PC, a laptop that you could carry around with you that would have the same power as a desktop, essentially, That's for at least the next sweet. few years. I find that awesome, personally. Would either, either of you guys uh, consider an upgrade if it brings that much more power? Uh, I probably would. The Chromebook boots in 8 seconds. I think uh, what? the Ultrabooks have to be able to do it in 8 or 7 seconds or something like that, and that's actually booting Windows. Ultrabooks, or not Ultrabooks, Chromebooks are just booting a browser, basically. They don't have to do anything. I don't even know why I'm arguing for Chromebooks. I don't even... Yeah, they're no, horrible. <laughs> they have antivirus built in, and they're starting at two ninety nine. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> it's a new, it's lightweight and fast to use. Should I customize my install or express install? Customize it. No, express. No, customize it. Don't listen to Danny. He lies. Yeah, you rolled right. me. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> I love the way you say that. You wick rolled me. Oh, I have this bucket. Cool. Bucket. Dick weed. I wish. I wish. I wish Nate would come on. Yeah, that would be hilarious. Ming then we could have confirmation. He's a confirmation. He wasn't out today. What? Then we would have a mass debate. Yeah, we just mass debate all over the place. <laughs> what? What is Nate at? Uh, confirmation. What is that? Uh, Catholic. For religion? What's a religion? I don't know. I, I've never heard of such a thing. Hold on, uh... Now is my... Compu my computer should, should I try to restart it now? My... Have you installed the, uh... Yeah, I, I ran the dot... I ran the oh, dot... Crap, 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 stop doing that, stop doing that. Bad water, bad water. Oh god, it just collected like a crap load of snowballs. Snowballs! Yeah, sure, Danny. What? what I love there? snowballs! What the crap? Hold on. No! Jeez, that no run, Danny. I, I still don't understand why this isn't working. Is it Pecano? No. Opponent category? Is it... I think I'm a notebook graphics, right? My no, laptop was, desktop yeah. graphics for your laptop. Isn't that obvious? No, you want Chromebook graphics. Duh. Shut up, Danny. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling the truth. You rickrolled me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was pretty good, though. Right on six. Yeah, it actually was. I enjoyed that, Danny. Thank There's Windows 8? What, what is this? What do you mean? It's I coming out Windows. soon. Yeah. It's coming out soon. But it's it's more of a uh, tablet UI. It's not um, it's not much like Windows used to be. It'll still have the same desktop interface that you can use, but it's got it's like a tablet interface now. 
It functions like a tablet. So there's just like touchscreen junk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Remember if last running, week? If you're already running Windows 7, it won't be worth the upgrade. But if you're running like Vista, then it'll definitely be worth the upgrade to 8. Remember last week when Spencer said you could buy a new processor at pirate whatever .net? Yeah, that was, <laughs> it's like, yeah. So, Spencer, do you think you're going to upgrade your Mac to a better computer with a new processor? No, I'll just get one at piratebase.net. AMD Catalyst Mobile Mobility cannot be downloaded. I don't even know, food. can you change the processor on a Mac, or are you just stuck with whatever one they slap in there at the factory? You're probably stuck. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're stuck. The version of you guys. They just, like, lock it down so you can't do anything with it. Hold on, what is wrong with this? Hold on. They I... surround it with, like, indestructible metal so you can't change it. Hold on, and... That's what they do with... I'm gonna turn on my big ones. old, stupid Intel graphics. Okay. <laughs> and then I'm gonna download it, and, cause... This is not working, and I don't understand why, because right, it's saying, guys. like, it's not compatible. We're at an hour of podcasting, and I'm getting pretty tired of playing Minecraft. Do you guys want to go ahead and cut it here? How long has it been? An hour. Three minutes to an hour, sir. It's almost been an hour. Hey, yeah, we, we should jam in as much stuff as we could. Yeah, I've got to come up with uh, topics for next Oh, week, my God. I'm almost out why of is it not supported? I don't understand this. The one thing good about Macs is that, like, they're pretty simple. There aren't that many problems, like... Well, yeah, in that's because... Because software. you can't change anything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's basically why there aren't viruses or anything, because it won't let you do anything. Actually... Oh, you want to download this program this from the internet? You can't. Screw you. <laughs> actually, 90% of the Macs have malware. Did you see that uh, on... EBNet or whatever it is. Yeah, a lot e of I have there. There is uh, there are Mac viruses that make you have like crap loads of pop-ups. Then there are also some uh, that give away your information that you enter into search fields, all kinds of stuff like that. I don't read. What? Remember last week, Spencer, PC or Mac? I choose Linux. <laughs> <laughs> Linux always wins. And then there's also a virus that makes it uh, so that your Mac like has uh, cockroaches crawling on the screen, like <laughs> digital cockroaches just crawl around on the inside of your screen, and you can't get rid of them. That's more annoying than yeah. It's not really harming oh. you in any way, but it's yeah. really freaking annoying. But if you're if you're a smart PC user and you actually know somewhat of what you're doing, then you'll like never get viruses. I you download, only, just in, don't in, download in my, random crap. In the that's five, all you have to do. If the, in the five computers that I've no owned, all of them were PCs, and only one of them had an issue, and that wasn't even with uh, a virus. That was um, just You've owned drive. five computers? Hard drive malfunction. Yeah, I've owned three desktops and two laptops. I've owned one laptop. That's about should it. Should I delete my cat? Er, should I delete, delete my Delete everything on your desktop. Yeah, just <laughs> go through your hard drive and just delete a bunch of times. Should just I wipe <laughs> everything. Wipe everything. Oh, crap. My, my water feature froze. <laughs> Darn it. Should I just delete Catalyst and then reinstall it? Because no. I have... <laughs> <laughs> Reed, just cut me. I really don't know what the problem is. I'm bring serious. It into, I actually... uh, bring it into English tomorrow and I'll fix it. Okay. I'll until try to get then, there. Until then, you can just do your Intel drivers. Because I literally have no idea what's wrong with this at all. <laughs> that was so funny. I'm just like... <laughs> Do you do this? And it's like, no, and he just stops talking. <laughs> Alright, guys. Well, we've been going for a solid hour now, I think. So no. 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 Yes. According to my clock, it is 6.52, which means we start podcasting no, it's, it's in 8... 8 yeah, what do you mean? It's 8 p.m. It's not 6.52. <laughs> what? See you guys later. Deal to me? No! Any it's a sim. It's a scam. Cheesy, whatever his name is. Sign Davis McCoskey, you know that? Okay. Well, they're just gonna stalk you now. I really it's don't care. It's not Davis McCoskey. See you guys later, Deal Gaming Center.